What's up, uh, YouTube? Um, I just uh, came across a series of really good information, really good videos, and uh, so I'm just going to keep sharing them as they come. Um, <clears throat> here's another one. Uh, this just just more good information for for anybody who cares to listen. So, um, without further ado, you don't want to hear me rant about it anyway. <clears throat> Let's just go ahead and. Uh, Let's listen to the information and please share this. Share this um, if you feel it's important. D don't just close it, you know, or save it to a playlist. Share it. Do do what you can. You know, if you can do something, if you have the ability to do something, then you have an obligation and responsibility to do something. You know, or else you're you're just part of the problem because there's no in between anymore. You can't. You can't be complicit. You can't just turn your head and pretend you didn't see anything or just worry about yourself anymore. We all have to worry about each other. We all have to work together to get this ended. So if you're not part of the solution, then you are part of the problem. Hate, hate to put it like that. that. That's how it is, though. That is how it is. So, so, you know, do something positive. Be part of the solution. You know, you will make a difference. You might not think it, but uh, you will. You will absolutely make a difference. So be good or be good at it. Enjoy. Let's explore a murky underworld where deception and pressure are the norm thanks to a very real occurrence about the recruitment of less ethically minded individuals into gang stalking operations. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. In the shadows of society, an organized group of people with nefarious goals are looking to fill the ranks with new recruits. They go after persons they believe to lack moral conviction, assuming that such individuals will be more easily manipulated. These operatives, motivated by their own nefarious goals, seek out people on the margins of society, people who may be experiencing difficulties on multiple fronts, including economically, emotionally, and morally. In the early stages of recruitment, potential recruits are gently manipulated by appealing to their baser needs for prestige, approval, and a sense of deprived community. A gang stalking operative could contact them and make empty promises of anonymity, power, or financial gain. They prey on the recruits' weaknesses and insecurities like animals in the wild to break down their defenses and enable the corrupted nature their moral compass. They provide a false sense of belonging and significance, playing on people's desires for approval and acceptance. As the new recruits fall deeper into the trap, the operatives will show them the shadowy side of their work. They teach them how to intimidate, manipulate, and spy on their targeted individuals. Slowly but surely, those with weaker moral convictions become entangled in a society they never bargained for, where they actively violate the liberties of others. The operatives utilize intimidation and deception to keep the recruits under their control. They may try to blackmail them into silence by threatening to reveal their involvement. These people are led to believe that their actions are commendable and that they are participating in a purpose that is beyond all moral considerations. This is an outright fabrication. In the end, the recruitment method takes advantage of the individual's apparent lack of personal ethics and moral beliefs in order to exert control over them. These events take place in the real world, and it depicts a murky dance of power and manipulation, a place where nefarious operatives seek out vulnerable people to recruit and shape into instruments of damage, danger, and torture. Gang stalking operatives are particularly successful at recruiting people with the following characteristics to take part in their criminal activities. This includes, those whose moral compass is easily compromised for the price of a few coins, those whose self-esteem is in question, those who have recently been released from incarceration, typically from a state prison, those who are unfortunately experiencing homelessness, living on the streets, and those who find it necessary to live compromised lives at the mercy of others, as well as individuals with severe mental or emotional impairments. Many of these people are among the most defenseless in our society. To further their sinister mission of social dominance and societal ill will, the gang stalking operators have no qualms about using and manipulating the vulnerabilities of these individuals. Their goals are not only useless, but also not even remotely satisfying on any level. What the gang stalking operatives really think of you is demonstrated by the people they've linked you to, 
if you take part in gang stalking. They forge similar characteristics between you and your companions in despair. Regardless of your community status, your wealth or your fashionably attractive good looks. Be assured, your gang stalking operatives see you in the same light as those shown above. What this demonstrates is how little they actually value you. This provides a clear picture of just how easily replaceable you are in their eyes. If you aren't putting forth massive, life-altering effort for the cause, if you are not willing to ride or die with them, then you're basically irrelevant in their eyes. This is the price you must pay and the pain you must feel to be associated with a totality of emotional thieves and moral malficients who are more than happy to drop you off at the first red light should something not go their way. If you are a masculine, this is the equivalent of a feminine using you just for your money and waiting for you to chill over in your grave to get that prize. If you are a feminine, this is the equivalent of a masculine who is just using you for sensual pleasures and whatever financial resources they can manipulate you into providing. When they're finished with you and you no longer have value in their minds, they are more than happy to take you out like the trash on Wednesday morning. They then moved on to a new target. If you're guilty of gang stalking with these liars and cheats, this video is here to let you know how gang stalking operatives really feel about you based on the people they recruit to the same things they ask you to do. Ultimately, putting you in the exact same category as those noted above. This is what they really think of you, don't let these soulless vipers victimize you and the ones they ask you to target. Refuse to condone or accept gang stalking or targeting of individuals. You and the world will be better off without it. Trust the truth. Please like, share and subscribe. So, what's important to note in that video <clears throat> is... Um, no matter how much you might disagree with what was said there, um, it's the truth. It's the, it's the truth. You can't argue with it. And the other important thing is my trash uh, goes out on Tuesday, not Wednesday. So remember, be good or be good at it. Peace out.